finishing down Highway 8 out of Watonga, we get to uh, Red Rock Canyon, and it's, it's fairly small, but beautiful little canyon. It, the whole park is contained within the canyon walls. The canyon was made by an ancient river that washed away the softer dirt, and what was left was this red sandstone that has iron ore in it. And of course the iron ore rusts, and that's why it's red. And uh, it's, it's created some really weird looking rock formations. There was this one balancing rock that was like this big, kind of almost like a tower sort of thing that's uh, just uh, a pillar almost kind of a thing. As state parks go, Red Rock Canyon is uh, tiny. Uh, the, the road uh, that goes the length of the park is only like a mile and a half long. So uh, uh, compared to, you know, some of the big, big lakes that we have here in Oklahoma, it's pretty small, but it's uh, the smallest per gallon are high. I mean, it's a really great area. When we arrived at uh, Red Rock Canyon State Park, we met with the park ranger there, Dave Sutton, who's, uh, I think he said he'd worked there like 20 some odd years. He's, uh, he's been there at uh, Red Rock for quite some time and knows the park really well. Really nice guy, showed us around. He kept talking about the, uh, the guys that come down there with their loud motorcycles and love to rev them and hear them off the canyon walls. Like that's, I, I, hopefully that's not the only reason they came that far. But I'm, I'm sure it sounded great to him. Now, how old is this? How old is this whole park? The park is about. It was 1956 is when we became a state park. Okay. But before that, the citizens in Hinton, uh, specifically the Kiwanis Club in Hinton, started the park in the early 1930s. So what are the big features here? People come down there and the see. I've heard of a few of them. But. The main thing people come down here is the varied terrain. Okay. You know, there's not very many places in Oklahoma where you have a canyon feature. Right. And so it's unique uh, for Oklahoma to have a canyon that you can come down and camp in. Uh, we have a swimming pool that's here, and then we have a group camp where churches or family reunions can come down and, and spend, the, spend the night. Okay. In addition to the camping, we have some nature trails that they can hike on that have pedestals every once in a while to tell them about the park. Okay. Or we're installing on the east side of the park some uh, hiking trails where we can get, uh, get in a mile, a mile or two and get views from on top of the canyon rim looking down into the canyon instead of us down on the canyon floor oh, right. just looking up. Yeah. Well we're gonna go take a look around. I guess this thing is three miles? Round trip, round trip from the office. It's a mile and a half deep to the end of the canyon and then back a mile and a half. Okay. What else do we need to look at when we get down further? Well for motorcyclists uh, I've noticed over the last probably 10 years that we get an increasing number of motorcycles coming in on the weekend and I think it's because of the recreation travel of motorcycles want to get four or five buddies together right. and just go ride somewhere and we're just about an hour from Oklahoma City the motorcyclists like to come down the steep hill because they like the sound that they get from driving through, through the, the canyon, canyon and sure. gunning their engine and then it's a challenge to get out of our park because of the steep entrance hill so they like to gun it and make as much noise as they can going out and then yeah, on the way man. back to Oklahoma City, <laughs> on the way back to Oklahoma City, you can take Highway 37. And it's a scenic road that uh, goes east of here to the town of Cogar, and then on to Minko, oh. and then on to El Reno. And the uh, movie Rain Man was filmed on that road. On that highway. And so uh, okay. it's just a nice little curvy road where you can t really take advantage of your motorcycle abilities oh, cool. on it. And once you're here at Red Rock Canyon, you've got uh, you got a swimming pool. We've got nature trails. Yeah. There's RV camping. Yeah. And what about picnic areas? Picnic areas. And what about tent, like tent camping? Tent camping. camping. Oh, yeah. okay. All RV those all those camping. basic things that you would expect at a and, state park. And repelling for those that that have uh, the the, the nap, gear for that kind the of gear. stuff. The yeah, gear. Yeah. You sure. have to bring. We supply the canyon wall. You bring in the, the equipment okay. in, you your, don't, in yourself. Okay. You don't yeah. supply the ropes or anything yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah. I can understand that. Well, we're going to take a run down to the end of it and, okay. and look at the rest of it and, okay. and hang out here for a while. So. Sounds good. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it. One of the things that's uh, definitely worth checking out when you're at Red Rock Canyon is uh, on one of the nature trails, 
uh, you can actually see these wagon ruts that were made by covered wagons back in the 1850s uh, on what was known back then as the California Road. And uh, that was basically the trail, uh, similar to like the Chisholm Trail, uh, that uh, covered wagons followed to go to California during the gold rush of the 1850s. found some little cabin-like things. They looked like a little community of elves or something. I don't know what it was, but we found some neat little A-frame cabins. Almost looked like something out of like a little alpine Swiss village or something, and uh, those were kind of interesting. No, the real story is we saw some small furry creatures scurrying about on two legs, and we followed them back, found this road, and we think this is where they live. This looks like a Route 66 motor court, but it's really the group camp here at Red Rock Canyon State Park. Perfect place for a, like a family reunion or a church get together. And uh, just one of many wonderful things here in the besides, canyon. Besides canyon walls. Besides, yes. Yeah, this is a cool place. Great place for a ride.